County. You see the big line of smoke? Okay, you see this hill over here that we can't really see over that well? Is that like four trucks there? I can see one, two, three, yeah, four of them. <laughs> big coal trucks coming off of the strip mine. Today. There's a big active mine over here, North Star, I think it is. It's mining over here. That's the active mine that um, they show everybody. You see there's a tipple over here. See over next to that? Yeah, I do what see it. It looks like a ruined castle that is actually the what's left of a mountain. But you, you've got your coal seams. There's all striated through these these mountains. Are real coal seams. Some are real thin, like up above, and some of them are thicker, like this. Uh, some are good quality. Some are not. Uh, you see all of this through here. This is all shale. None of this is you know anything. You get it right here. Uh, so when you're talking about you know the volume of you know the massive amount of area that you take, the size of the valley that you take to fill this, especially when this stuff is pulverized. It expands, what is it, about 4 to 1, 5 to 1? Expansion on the fill? Some, something like that. So, so it, the volume is much, much larger. So it takes a lot more to fill back in again. So, but all this has got to be taken off here. Now, see, these are little thin, thin coal seam right here. big machine down at the bottom now. He's already got all his ditches completed. What you do is sort of like fighting the war. You, you secure your perimeter and it doesn't really matter what goes on on the inside uh, because all the water is, is going to die. The only thing it can leave here is if, you, if you're not real careful with your shooting, you can flash rock over there. Absolute no no. Or you can let dirty water go over there. Absolutely. So those two things are the two things we have to watch close, the closest. Uh, the blasting part of it, we just blast enough to crack the rock. Now on a bigger strip mine, you got a lot more area. A lot of a lot of companies will take advantage of casting. They will actually load the hose real heavy and try to throw the rock over into the old pit. So you don't have to move it, you just let the dynamite blow it and throw the rock. At this place, we just want to shake it. Uh, the way we do that is we, we do a very small hose. And uh, what that does is it lets the powder come all the way to the top of the hose and have a big concentration of powder, concentration of powder on the bottom. Very small hose that just cracks the rock. What we're doing here, we took a little contour cut around the side 
Establish this outside bench, or this outside ditch, or barrier, where the water cannot leave here. And then we took it, and we're going to cross cut right across the face of that wall. And then what we'll do, once we get that all the way down, all the way down to the bottom, we'll come back and we'll start eating on this big chunk of rock here. If you look at it, Mr. Howell, we'll start eating on it. It goes all the way out to the tree. This is what we call zero impact mass.